Test solve based on same concept another question then it will become more clear concept how to use for next level of questions one person pujari is there has given the same amount of money to ravi and ramesh at 2% si and 2% ci rate of interest is same under ci and si that is one of the criteria for this type of question if rate has given difference different then then we have to calculate separately if rate is same then difference we will able to get based on the pascal triangle after 3 years pujari receives 604 rupees less from ravi than ramesh because ramesh is paying compound interest then he will give the more interest and pujari will receive the more interest compared to ravi ravi is paying only simple interest but pujari receives 600 604 rupees more from ramesh or you can say just in reverse way 604 rupees less than ravi Uh, less from Ravi than Ramesh. Then find the sum. Means so what is the principal amount? Same thing we just apply n equal to three. You can solve by formula also, but this method is very easy. Very easy. Calculation also will become easy. N equal to three, one three three one hundred x. We have taken principal amount. You just multiply hundred x into one. It will become first. You take two percent. It will become two x again two percent again two percent. N equal to three. You have to take three times. 2x again it will become 0.04x it will become 0.0008x okay then second line it will give you simple interest only then 2x you have to multiply with 3 it will become 6x it will become only simple interest but here we have to find difference in simple interest and compound interest means third plus fourth plus onward means third onward third onward third will just will calculate 0.04 into 3 it will become 1.2x And last one, it will become very less. We can ignore it. Last one, we can ignore. It is not going to affect your calculation. Then only we'll take third. It will become one point two x equal to six not four. Then x will be equal to five zero three three. Means you can say approximately five thousand thirty three. Then principal amount is actually hundred x. If you will just multiply, it will be around five lakh rupees. And you can just mark it is five lakh. You don't mark five point two because it will not increase that much. it will not increase that much then 5 lakh only 